is really fun, guys. This is my first little puzzle kit. It is really, really fun. I really enjoyed doing this. Pretty cool. And I kind of found it looks pretty cool if you're actually making it look like it's gonna take off. Hey everybody, Kaiden here, and today I have another mini sew product for you. I have the Scene Puzzle Airplane Kit, and I got this in a store called Mini Sew, and I picked this up on my trip to California, which I did a video on, and if you haven't seen that video already, I highly suggest for you guys to go check that out. I'll put a link in the description down below so you can go watch that video. Wow. All right, guys. So inside it comes with these two bags with our plane and our play mat. And here we have our instructions. All right, so let's first get all these out of the bag and then we'll get started building. So it comes with two wheels, this gearbox. And it comes with pieces A and B. So I'm guessing there's a left and right and just the front part. All right guys, now let's start to build our plane. There we go. Yeah, right here. There we go. There we go, we got our front landing gear in. Looks pretty snazzy. Just like that. This is really fun, guys. I don't know why, but this is my first, you know, little puzzle kit, but it is really, really fun. I really enjoy doing this. Okay, starting to actual look like a fighter jet there we go now it looks way way much better pretty cool um, well wouldn't technically make that um, probably like more like a <laughs> I'm just kidding I can't make a jet engines noises and sounds last one let's not mess this up there we go, now it looks really, really cool. Okay, now it looks like, as you can tell, we are all done with the plane. So now it's time to make our little stand like, it looks like it's flying with these really, <laughs> really generic photo of some trees. Okay, and guys, we are finally finished with our plane and it looks like this attaches on to the back right here make it look like it's flying above the sky but she's like really really tiny but now we have our puzzle complete looks really cool beside this little winder thing this is really cool looks like it's coming right off right at you poke 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 yep i'm poking your screen how do you feel about that <laughs> and the wings look really really nice the, the jet though was really really hard and i'm not sure about how i like that looking with that little cross but it still looks pretty cool and now guys there's only one final thing to do to make this look even more cooler is to get out our play mat and this feels like the feels kind of feels like a uh, foam like a uh, bathtub toy or something like that and here we have let's see unfolds just like that and then on the picture I saw it like this and then here's our tool so we can put in all of our scenery. That just uh, looks a little bit wonky, but oh well. Doesn't always have to be super realistic. But the 
main attention of this whole entire kit is the plane, which may I say it looks it looks like it's based off of the Japanese F2, which is kind of the F2 is also based off of the F16, which it's kind of looked like it morphed into this. But nonetheless, this was a really cool kit, guys. And let's wind it up and watch it go. All right, guys, so I am finished with the build of the Scene Puzzle Airplane Kit by Miniso. The only hard part was the jet, and this took me roughly about an hour to build. And it looks like the plane is based off of the the Japanese F2 and the scenery I've got to say um, it's it's okay it's not to scale with the actual jet and I'm wondering why they're actually putting like an international airport station right there and then the mountains and all of that you can see on the runway right there you're just running into a mountain <laughs> but the these I have no idea why they're there and then these two ships right there, I can see it's kind of like a coastal defense, but I'm not sure why this kind of looks like a, oops, international airport. And then the runway is, oh my goodness, it's falling apart. But the runway is really, really tiny. And it's not really to scale because this whole entire tree is bigger than... <laughs> almost bigger than the plane and these ships are really small but I guess it's supposed to be the main attraction is this with the stand which I really like and the little thing has a wind up action which will let it go like that which is a pretty cool addition but I kind of find it a little bit unnecessary even though it kind of is like a play feature I really just like playing around with it rather than just rolling it on the ground but yeah it's not really to scale with the runway even though the wings do kind of go off a little bit and then the stand is it's really really cool fits in there really snugly and just like that it looks like it's not even part of the plane and I kind of found it looks pretty cool if you're actually making it look like it's gonna take off and yeah this was a really really fun kit to build as I said it took me roughly about an hour and I definitely do not recommend this for ages three and up one is because of how fragile some of the things are because I mean like for rough play with this like Nero, Nero, you know, they, it might get broken a little bit, and it's definitely really probably going to be a big challenge for a three-year-old to try to assemble this, so I kind of suggest it be like ages eight or nine and up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give me a big like, subscribe, share this video with your friends, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video from me, and most importantly, guys, thanks for watching. Bye!